Okay, guys, here's our setup for this week. We have our optical bench. We have our extended object box over here on the left with the cross target. We have our big plus lens to help us form our distant object like we've used before. We have a little bit of a different setup here with this little funky lens holder. We have our iris diaphragm that you can change the iris size. And then finally we have the screen over here for our image. Now what we have set up is a model eye and you have the optics of your eye here, you have the pupil of your eye here, and then of course the retina back here. So part of this lab is to examine what happens to how clear your ob uh, image is going to be if you change the size of your pupil. How does that affect the clarity of your vision? We also are exploring what happens when we have astigmatic eye optics. So we have a cylinder lens and a plus lens stuck in the kit. So we're going to compare uh, what the images look like for different types of refractive errors, compound myopic, simple myopic, uh, etc., to show you what those effects are going to be like. Here we can see the image on the screen. This is the uh, upside down cross that we have on our object. On the image screen, though, you can see that because of the astigmatism, it doesn't look the same vertical and horizontal. Here we have a vertical part that's fairly sharp, and the horizontal part is a little bit blurry. My camera kind of washes it out, I'm afraid, but um, hopefully you can see that there's some difference there. And as you move the screen around for the assignment, you'll see that depending upon where you have the screen positioned, you'll get a different type of image form on the screen. For example, I just moved the screen backwards a little bit until the other line image was formed on the screen. And here you can see now that the horizontal part is clear and the vertical part is fuzzy.